the smallest planet in our solar system and nearest to the Sun, Mercury is only slightly larger than Earth's moon. The planet Mercury has been known since ancient times and was observed for thousands of years by the people of many different cultures. From the surface of Mercury, the Sun would appear more than three times as large as it does when viewed from Earth, and the sunlight would be as much as seven times brighter. And remember that, Mercury does not have any moons or rings. Despite its proximity to the Sun, Mercury is not the hottest planet in our solar system. That title belongs to nearby Venus, thanks to its dense atmosphere. But Mercury is the fastest planet, zipping around the Sun every 88 Earth days. Mercury has the shortest year of any planet in the solar system. The diameter of Mercury is 4,880 kilometers, which is approximately 38% the diameter of Earth. In other words, if you put three Mercuries side by side, they would be a little larger than the Earth from end to end. Mercury's diameter is comparable to the size of the continental United States. While this makes Mercury smaller than the largest natural satellites in our solar system such as Ganymede and Titan, it is more massive and far more dense than they are. Mercury has a large metallic core with a radius of about 2,074 kilometers, about 85% of the planet's radius. Iron makes up about 70% of Mercury's total weight, making Mercury the most iron-rich planet in the solar system. Mercury's outer shell comparable to Earth's outer shell, is only about 400 kilometers thick. Mercury's small size also makes it too weak to hold onto a significant atmosphere, especially with the constant solar bombardment it receives from the Sun. The planet has a thin atmosphere, but it is constantly blasted into space by the solar wind. Mercury's thin atmosphere, or better known as exosphere, is composed mostly of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. Without an atmosphere to help stabilize the incoming heat from the Sun, the planet boasts some of the most varying temperature swings in the solar system. Mercury's temperatures can go between minus 173 Celsius at night to 427 Celsius during the day. Enough to melt lead. Let's talk about surface gravity. Mercury's surface gravity is equivalent to 38% of Earth's gravity. This means that if you weighed 100 kilograms on Earth, you would weigh 38 kilograms on Mercury. Mercury has a mass of 3.3 into 10 raised to 23 kilograms, and the volume of Mercury is 6.1 into 10 raised to 10 cubic kilometers, which works out to 5.5% the volume of Earth. In other words, you could fit Mercury inside Earth 18 times over and still have a bit of room to spare. As Mercury's small mass is enclosed inside of a tiny body, the planet is the second densest in the solar system, after Earth, weighing in at 5.427 grams per cubic centimeter, or 98% of the density of our planet. Meanwhile, the surface area of Mercury is 75 million square kilometers, which is approximately 10% the surface area of Earth. If you could unwrap Mercury, it would be almost twice the area of Asia. Mercury has a dark gray, rocky surface which is covered with a thick layer of dust. The surface is thought to be made up of igneous silicate rocks and dust. Mercury's surface greatly resembles that of Earth's moon, with craters left over from the heavy bombardment early in the life of the solar system and during the planet's formation. Images taken by the Mariner 10 spacecraft show craters ranging from 328 feet to 808 miles across. From an average distance of 58 million kilometers, Mercury is 0.4 astronomical units away from the Sun. From this distance, it takes sunlight 3.2 minutes to travel from the Sun to Mercury. Mercury's highly eccentric, egg-shaped orbit takes the planet as close as 47 million kilometers and as far as 70 million kilometers from the Sun. It speeds around the Sun every 88 days traveling through space at nearly 47 kilometers per second, faster than any other planet. Mercury's axis of rotation is tilted just two degrees with respect to the plane of its orbit around the Sun. That means it spins nearly perfectly upright and so does not experience seasons like many other planets do. 
two spacecraft have visited the planet Mercury so far. The first was called Mariner 10. During 1974 and 1975, Mariner 10 flew by Mercury three times and mapped about half of the planet's surface. Mariner 10 also discovered Mercury's thin atmosphere and detected its magnetic field. More recently, Messenger went into orbit around Mercury in 2011, and completed mapping of 100% of Mercury's surface in 2013.